Hello mommies, friends and family, do my lang. Do my lang. <laughs> I just finished tidying up or organizing Amos closet that one that you usually see in most of my motherhood sit down um, videos they are visiting now and so I wanted her to find a nice little surprise when she comes back and just find her closet nicely packed and neat because if there's one thing that her and I fight about is keeping her room neat and clean so <laughs> If I could do one thing for her at least now during this whole quarantine and lockdown, that is it because she's been so helpful around the house the whole time, helping with the kids, helping just for everybody to stay sane and the house to stay clean and all of that. So I'm sure she's going to really enjoy this. But anyway, please subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and enjoy the video. I wish, I wish there was another shelf here. Yeah. I'm sure I can try and f I don't know. So going down to shoes. As you can see, it's a hot mess in there. A very hot mess, but we're going to fix it. Take all the dirty shoes out and then keep the clean ones in and nicely sort it. I wish there was a shelf here as well, even two shelves. Because for shoes, two shelves would have been fine. Okay, and then on the other side, another hot mess. Won't you look at that? <laughs> As you go up, it's the stuff that's hung up. And wow. So I'm going to share the cupboard with Moachi. I know I'm pushing it, but I don't have a lot of closet space in the house. Um, because Josi shares with me as well. So... But we're fine. It's not that bad. It's just that if I get things sorted out nicely, then things will make sense eventually. It usually does, but then I let it sit out and then this happens. All of this was in there. Was in there, piled up in this little space. But not, not just this. It's not just all of this. There's also another pile on this side. So... And then there's another pile here like these are small no longer fit her so these are giveaway and then here is Moachi's small clothes also for giving away let me get to it let me get to it to it This was Amos. It's about six to seven years, but I want to keep it for Josie. These are clothes that she can still wear now during winter. And over here is her school uniform. And then this is the pile that I'm throwing away. Um, here, it's not completely winter clothes, but some that she can wear, like t-shirts underneath with a jersey dresses that she can still wear with um, long sleeve shirts underneath while she's at home and obviously it's not yet completely cold some days are still a little bit warm so there's like one or two short sleeves that I left that she can still wear um, and then this pile is the pile that's going to go at the back that she's not going to wear now during winter then on this side um, these are the things that I'll be giving away. Whew, my stomach is growling. Yeah, this is the pile from the that pile. This is the what will be given away. And then now I'm gonna get that pile sorted. <laughs> pile that I'll be giving away all of this here and and that and then 
so th these two are from Jose stuff and then these four are from Amo stuff and then here I found some of my items so I'm gonna put that in my room this is Jose's as well I found in here I'll take that to my room as well and then over here again it's the summer stuff so just some summer dresses a uh, tutu skirt that I'll be putting more towards the back of the cupboard and then here it's your scarves and stuff that she'll still use now in winter this pile is long okay that's like a onesie pajama but here it's long stuff leggings okay that's a pajama I'm gonna just sort them out when I pack them so that the pajamas are one side but it's long leggings and yeah long pants that you can wear and this pile is also again t-shirts even if there's short sleeve but she can wear them underneath obviously with a jersey on top or for those days that are not necessarily too cold and then some of them are long sleeves like this one is long sleeve this is a dress that she can wear with leggings it's long sleeves so uh and then this pile Mona, it's things that I'm not sure still fit her. So this is a jean, leggings, and two shirts. I don't know if they still fit her. I'm going to need her to fit them. And then um, this also might need a... Not might. It's going to... It needs, it needs a wash. <laughs> There's also some added things here that, yeah, don't really work anymore. So the reason I'm throwing them away and not giving them away is because if you have a look here... Can you see? This is Amohelang. She sits on the floor and stuff like that. But yeah, so this happened. And then if you look at these tights as well, leggings. Where is it? You know, it's badly torn. So here's another one. By the knees, also badly torn. This one's actually worse. If you look here on this side can you see how torn that is um i have a feeling she this was torn a little bit and she might have pulled it <laughs> i found some pictures let me show you of amu this is amu preschool this was 2014 so which means she was four years old and then there's this one this is grade one okay please don't judge <laughs> i was not doing so good I, I don't even have an excuse. And then there's this one. Here she's, she had the nice afro. She doesn't have the afro anymore. But she had a really nice afro. This is grade 3. I don't have her grade 2. It seems to be missing. And then this. Doesn't she look like a little boy? She was so mad at these pictures. This is grade 4 yeah last year she was so upset okay i've decided to keep them in the plastics so that they stay nice and looking good she was really upset at these pictures she was mad because she had cut her hair she was really angry even now whenever she sees them she gets so mad shame i'm done with all of Amos clothes i've packed all of them in the cupboard as well now all of this here is moachi's pile i've started folding some of his clothes here and then i'm gonna use the same sorting process what am i going to give away um what am i going to throw away and what's staying but i doubt i don't anticipate anything that needs to be thrown away because I actually did a declutter of his clothes probably two months ago, not so long ago, and a l big chunk of his clothes I've already given to someone. So, yeah, that's what it is. This is the mess now. And this is what it looks like now. Nicely sorted. I know it's still full in here, but... I'm working with the space that I have and I'm just glad that it's more organized now so at the back I kept the summer clothes on that side it's the shorts here it's okay this is a swimwear but underneath all of this are the t-shirts and then here is the onesies like summer onesies 
and dungarees are there these are the clothes that he'll be wearing every day now for winter these are the long sleeve stuff um and these are the long trousers so these are there's very few of these here because there's some in the laundry i haven't done laundry in a while and they are visiting now so he left with a bag full of clothes as well these are some of the jerseys and then he, all of this here is his sleepwear down there is as you can see there's a whole big difference down there but i'm still busy with that this is the pile from that i'll be giving as well from Moachi's clothes that i just sorted out and i also found at that bottom pile <laughs> i found this jacket of mine that i've been looking for for so long here's the final product i'm so happy did the best that i could do i must close that i hung up so these dresses are small they're around five years old all of these but i'm keeping them because now i'm being my grandmother <laughs> but some of them i have like sentimental value this is this one she wore when <clears throat> when i was getting married this one is part of the first um what did i say when we launched amo kids creations this was part of the first what is it called i forgot but the first batch of clothing that we made this this dress i like so much she wore this one on her fifth birthday party and then this one she wore on my sister's wedding day she was a flower girl and then this one she wore on my mom's 50th birthday party so we're keeping these ones and then these are the scarves that i ended up hanging up here together with these headband thingies and then these scarves belong to moachi and then these here this is her old school uniform when she was in grade one and i decided to keep it but i kept it because i want to give it away i want to give it to i've been meaning to go to the school and drop it off because i couldn't find anybody who attends school there this uniform was expensive you know when your child goes to grade one and you're buying ridiculously expensive uniform this yeah this was one of the, those things and then these are her shirts as you can see they are not ironed but they're school shirts i'll iron them when they're ready to go to school and then here is just one of her other jackets this is her raincoat and this is Moachi's gown also you can see that she doesn't have a lot of jackets here because she's visiting along with Moachi and so yeah she packed stuff that she left with and then on this side um up here there's stuff you can see at the back there it's just some jerseys that my mom gave me that used to belong to my little brother but they don't fit she gave me so that i can give them to Hosi. but then they don't fit him yet they're still a bit big in here i put some toys and books um i know this is dirty i'm gonna have to wash it um just feeling tired now i'm really done <laughs> And then down here are the clothes that I packed because of our space. As you can see at the back, I've got some other things, more of her school uniform here. And then these are her pajamas that she'll obviously be sleeping in. And then underneath that are the other summer clothes that I showed you that she won't be wearing now during winter. And then the trousers and the tops on the side. And I just didn't do the shoes. Everything is still as it was because I'm feeling tired now and I think I'll actually leave this for her to do when she comes back so that she's just a part of everything. I'm feeling tired. I think I'll continue tomorrow. I should have probably started with this in the morning but I started doing everything later in the day after I had done a whole lot of other things. Thank you for watching the video. Love you all so much. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.